art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. A couple lines in the Lord's prayer. Well, it's really our prayer. It's the Lord, um, one of his disciples, ask him to teach us how to pray and he spoke those words and it's for us to pray and it says forgive us as we forgive others sometimes we find it very difficult to forgive others for the things that they've done and the things that they've said to us that were so offensive that was so hurtful and you know and then also one of the hardest people to forgive is yourself when you have done something um you know sometimes we have self-condemnation and we find it so difficult to forgive ourselves but here we have jesus saying pray to the father and ask him to forgive you as you forgive others forgiveness is a powerful tool that will free you it's such a freeing thing to know that you know the ultimate price was paid on calvary like jesus christ died for us and the fact that he died and he was scourged he was beaten he was spat upon all of these things were offensive to him and yet he endured it anyway just for you and for me and i know as human beings it's difficult but i'm telling you in um philippians 4 verse 13 it says we could do all things through Christ who strengthens us. We don't have, we might not have the power of ourselves to forgive something that is so, that was so hurtful to us. But if we ask God each and every day, he softens those areas of our hearts and the wounds he's healing. He's healing all our wounds up. If we, am, if we allow him to do so, you know, forgiveness seeps in unforgiveness i'm sorry seeps in and it takes up residence and it takes up root and it becomes a web of bitterness and nobody wants to live like that jesus didn't want die for us to live like that god doesn't want us to live like that and so we have him to help us to do these things that we cannot do you ever experience in your life where somebody says something about you or something to you that is so, it, 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 it burns you to your very core. I remember going through that where I was told that I said something that was so hurtful, it was so painful. And just for peace or I wanted peace, I, would, I, I, I found myself admitting that I said that. And I was like, or just for acceptance or for the person to forgive me. I was like, okay, I did it or I said it. And I was like, after many months of contemplation and I said, God, but I didn't do this. I, I didn't do this. And while I want the individuals to, um, to forgive me, I'm self I'm, 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 I'm believing a lie about myself. And that, it did something to me and I found it very difficult to get past the fact, even with the facts in the person's face, they were still going at me and still saying, yes, you did, yes, you did, you did this, you did this. And individuals were coming and saying, but she didn't. That's not what happened. That's not what she said. And it burned me to my core. It seeped in so deep i was so hurt because this was somebody that i truly cared about that i thought cared about me too you know and those it's when it's the people who you love the most and they love uh, and who you think love you the most that could hurt you the most but i thank god because after going through with jesus and saying you know what i'm laying it all out at your feet i know that sometimes i could say things and it might not necessarily be right but I say, if I say something offensive, if I've done something wrong to you, tell me, tell me, come to me and tell me, and I will ration over 
all I want in my mind, but the Holy Spirit always convicts me and I am willing to apologize. I'm willing to say I am sorry. And I read the word of God and I don't want my words to hurt. I want them to heal. I want them to be kind and gentle and loving. And I'm not always that way. None of us is perfect, but by the grace of God, if I have made a mistake, if I have said something or done something, you know, don't condemn me. Tell me, let's reason. God even tells us, come, let us reason together. And as humans, as, as brothers and sisters, as humans, we could do that. Let us reason together. I've offended you. Let's talk about it. Let me see where I went wrong so I don't do it again. I'm that type of individual. If you show me where I went wrong, I don't want to make that mistake over again. So I will say, I apologize. I, you know, sometimes it's not, a lot of times I've been told it's not what I've said, it's how I've said it. And it took me a while to understand that and to get to the place. What do you mean? What do you mean? This is just the way I talk. And then I realized that, yes, but the way you say certain things can come off. In a to you might, it might not mean that, but the meaning becomes something totally different just by the tone of your voice and just by the way you're saying it. And I... I'm willing to take responsibility. A lot of, some people, times people are not willing to take responsibility and you suffer because you want the person to say they're sorry. Even if a person doesn't, don't say that they're sorry, you forgiving them is for your benefit. It rids you of all of that because they're over there busy living their lives. They're not thinking about you. While over you are over here sulking and carrying on, they're gone on with their lives while you're the one feeling this hurt. So the best thing that we could do is just release it. Just release it to God, forgive them and say, you know what, God, you have forgiven me over and over and over again, even when I don't deserve it. I have done this thing. I have said this thing millions and millions of times over and over again. And you have still forgiven me. Every time I come to you, Jesus, you're willing to forgive me. Give me that mindset. Give me the mind of Christ. So that I am willing to forgive even when it doesn't feel good. Even when to me it's, I don't think the individual deserves it. God doesn't treat us that way. And we should try to see individuals through grace's eyes. With eyes of grace and mercy and love and compassion and empathy. Because it's the same way Jesus looks at us. And if we are saying that we want to be more like Jesus, we have to do the things that Jesus did and the things that Jesus still do for us. You know, we come over and over again, bearing our souls, saying that we are sorry and we want to be pardoned, but yet we don't want to pardon somebody. You know, somebody once said, and it's been said, forgiveness is not for the other person, it's for you. Unforgiveness is like drinking poison hoping that the other person will die. And everybody knows if you drink poison, you're the one who's going to die. And that's what unforgiveness is. It, build, it, it, it forms a root of bitterness within you. And you don't want that. You don't want all of that cobweb. You don't want to live with that. So when you feel like you cannot, Philippians 4 verse 13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Not in your own strength. No, 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 not in our own strength. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And I promise you, before you said it, before you say it, he hears you and he's willing and able to respond. So today is just dropping a gem of truth into your spirit that forgiveness is one of the most beautiful gifts you could give yourself. And you could give it to another person too, because sometimes people are waiting to be forgiven. They are just, you know, feeling this burden because they are, have not been forgiven by somebody that they truly care about. And it unloads them as well, I'm sure. But for you, for your peace of mind, for you not to live with that, something just forming deep roots on the inside of you, you have to let it go and let God give it to him. He wants to take it. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we are so grateful. We thank you 
for Jesus Christ. We thank you for the prayer, the Our Father prayer, asking us to ask you for forgiveness as we forgive others. Teach us how to forgive Jesus. You have done it so many times. Show us, empower us, enable us to forgive. Where we find it difficult, oh God, where we felt like the person is not deserving, oh God, help us to see them through grace's eyes. Help us to be compassionate and empathetic like Jesus is towards us each and every moment of every single day. Father God, I just pray that you'll be with each and every one of us here this afternoon. Bless our lives, oh Lord. Take away the roots of unforgiveness from us. Dig deep down, oh God, and bind all our wounds up. Heal pain on the inside, oh God. People who have been hurt by something that someone said or did, oh God. Bind up their wounds. Heal them in the inner man, oh God, and set them aright and brand new. Straighten them up, Jesus. We want to ask you that you will continue to watch over us, to guide and to protect us. And we thank you that you said in your word that you who began a good work in us will bring it to completion. Help us, Lord. Help our words to be healing words, oh God. Not hurting words, but to heal. Help our words to be of love and feel with kindness, oh God. Father God, I just want to thank you for your forgiveness, for, for reaching down and touching my lips, for touching my heart and bringing about forgiveness when there was none. Heavenly Father, I pray that if I've offended anyone, that you will forgive me and that I will ask for their forgiveness and that, they, Lord, you will heal them from whatever I've said and done that might have hurt them, that they too will be freed, oh God. Father God, I just want to pray for everyone in the sound of my voice, oh God, that you will touch their lives in a very special way. Father God, you said you wish above all things that we may prosper as our soul prospereth and be in good health. And we know that unforgiveness can build our roots so deep to the point where we're not healthy, physically, emotionally, or mentally. So we ask that you will take away the root of bitterness and unforgiveness from our lives. Transform us and change us and renew us. In the likeness of your son, Jesus Christ, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Well, I want to thank you for dropping in and for listening. Um, once again, it's gem of truth. These things are what? Jesus commissioned us to do. He commissioned us to do. So let us live our lives in accordance to his will because he died to set us free and who the son set free is free indeed. Forgiveness will free you. Until next time, I want to thank you for tuning in. And I, from my lips to God's ears, from my heart to your heart, you are loved and appreciated a woman straightened up thank you for listening